PWRA was legislated in the 30s by the state of Tennessee legislature to oversee and protect all wildlife in the state of Tennessee, as well as all waterways and, and fishery. I'm a chief of engineering with a staff of about 45 people. The system was about 45 years old and we were having a tremendous amount of problems with it uh, as it was continually requiring a lot of maintenance and the utility bills were extremely high. So after we did an engineering analysis and study, we looked at several different ways of replacing the unit. We spent about 24 months going through the design and, and the selection process and looking at various options. And at the end of the day, we, we selected the VRF system. They're a perfect match for existing buildings, older buildings, where we do not have a lot of space to run ductwork or mechanical systems. Uh, we're able to move energy through, through small or pipes as opposed to big, large ducts. This building in particular, when we finished with the installation, we have a lot of surplus space that was previously occupied by ductwork and air handlers. It, it was very energy efficient, but we also found it very, very attractive that we could keep the building occupied during construction. There's three floors in this building, about 55,000 square feet, and there's about 150 employees. And we had no other building to relocate to, so one of the things that was very important to us is to keep the building occupied as the new system was installed and the old one was removed. So when I'm installing a product, my biggest problem is space above the ceiling. So when you go into a occupied building where pipes and everything's done been run, you have to work your way around it. And Mitsubishi's low profile units on their piping, it makes it easy to get the product in. CHC was a very good contractor to work with. Uh, they had people here five days a week, you can imagine, for about an 18 month period of time. We had another part of the building that we set up as phase one, which would take about 30 employees, and then move a division by division into that area. And then the area that they left, then we would renovate. Take out the old system, put in the new system. You might say uh, hopscotching around the building, working where we could, when we could, at different times while maintaining the old system and getting the new system going at the same time. Mitsubishi has been one of the most friendly plug-and-play systems that we've been able to work with. Flexible, uh, the energy recovery system is very energy efficient and sustainability, which is what we've used in this building here. Mitsubishi seems to be the leader of the pack. Their technology is, seems to be, from our experience, more proven, uh, liability more uh, sustainable, and the support we've gotten both from Mitsubishi and eSolutions has been impeccable. I think the factory support is a differentiating um, factor over Mitsubishi versus LG and some of the other Daikin. They just got much more factory resources to help on the design and the construction and the service after the fact. I'm extremely happy with it. We've had it in uh, close to a year, and uh, I would recommend the system to, to anyone. And particularly if you want to keep the area occupied, and you can phase it in, that really is brings, a, I think, a nice attractive offer to the project.